damage. It's truly a very effective peel to lighten and brighten the skin. So this is the first step for her treatment plan to get her skin ready. Now this is going to be about five to seven days of downtime. Typically the body peels, um, it takes a little bit longer for the body to peel, so it might not be as dramatic looking on the body. It's just different skin, it's a little bit thicker, less sensitized than maybe the face. So generally speaking, we'll tell patients five to seven days, but she might not even start peeling till about day three. So it just kind of depends. Um, and we are doing it the same way we treat the face, so we're doing it in layers. I'm gonna scoot over to the other side here to get her other arm, and we'll probably try to do about three coats. And on the arms and hands, we probably won't see the frosting that we see on the face. That's normal, but it's still going to be very therapeutic to exfoliate skin for some cellular turnover. And of course, the goal here is to brighten and lighten the skin. And, you know, people come in and they're focused on their face, but really, if you want to hide the signs of aging, we need to treat everything. The hands are one of the first places that we start to age. A lot of people don't do sunscreen on the hands every day and on the arms every day, and it's really important because if you're treating your face and you're leaving out the hands and the arms, it's gonna show your age. Same goes for neck and chest. So we like to recommend this anytime people are on a treatment plan with us to treat the other areas of the body that are seen. Could you do the enlightened peel on the hands and arms too? Absolutely, enlightened peel is great. But with her, we wanna get her ready for Fraxel, which I think is gonna be you know, the most dramatic result for what we have going on here for the scarring and the pigmentation. Fraxel is also great for anybody that has precancerous lesions. Um, it does treat that as well. So this is good because she's lighter skin tone. Um, her skin is more susceptible to getting those types of things. So we're layering away. And is it uncomfortable at all? No, it no. feels very comfortable. You probably can't feel much here, it's less sensitive. So you can see a little bit of redness here on this side. No frosting, I didn't expect it to, but we're gonna go ahead and do our next layer. Do you guys have questions? Mm -hmm. Questions on the gram? So here we go with the next layer. So just getting a really even application. And Rev Peel is great because, like I said, it treats so many different things, textures, pores, uh, melasma, hyperpigmentation, sun damage. Um, the active ingredients here are lactic acid, salicylic acid, TCA, and phenol. And it's in an oil delivery system. So we get really good even penetration with this. Uh, what she'll do next is in about four hours, She'll remove this, she'll cleanse the skin, and then we give her a really strict regimen for the next seven days, which includes daily application of sunscreen, obviously, if we're treating for pigmentation and we wanna lighten things, we gotta protect the skin. Um, I always recommend anytime patients are coming in to brighten the skin, do any sort of laser, any sort of peel, I recommend HelioCare. And that's a supplement that helps boost your skin's own natural ability to pr protect itself from the sun. So it gives your skin um, a little boost in its own sun protection. It makes your, uh, your SPF factor naturally about a four. So it doesn't hurt to be doing that because it just only protects your skin further from the sun. Um, but obviously I'll have her do sunscreen daily. And then at nighttime, she'll be using retinol. Every single night she'll be putting on a thin coat of retinol and this just advances the peel. There's also a soothing balm that comes with this peel. That's really only used on the new skin. So you put it in areas that have already peeled and you see new skin coming through. And when we do this on the face, it's pretty dramatic. I'm sure you guys have followed along and seen some of those, but the, the skin actually comes off in sheets. So there'll be areas that have new skin coming through and then areas that are shedding. So we kind of piece together where we need the skincare. The balm goes on the new skin, the retinol always goes on that dead skin that we want to encourage the cellular turnover with. So we're going to do our last coat on the other side. Could you do the black on your hands or arms? Yeah, you can do it anywhere, absolutely. Um, we really, like I said, we like to treat all areas of the body because if you're treating the face and the, the arms and hands show, you know, it doesn't, we, we want all the match. Okay, so here we go. Last one. Why aren't we getting any frosting? You know, there's just less 
um, pores and sebaceous glands on this area. You know, if you compare the skin on your arm to the skin on your face, you don't see the pores here, you don't have blackheads here, you don't have the buildup. A lot of times we get the frosting in areas that are more sebaceous, more open. So it's not typical for the arms to frost. Um, but say on a back where people have more oil glands and more sweat glands, um, where you can have more acne, usually those areas um, will show more frosting. Yeah, there isn't any, but that's okay. It doesn't mean that it's not, you know, doing its job. That also can be an indicator of dead skin. A lot of times areas that are really dry, dehydrated, and have a lot of dead skin buildup, you'll see instant frosting there. Now this, this is a superficial peel, correct? So this is a medium depth peel which means you will have visual signs of peeling. She's gonna peel. Um, there is a lighter version called um, Refresh, where it's only about three days of light redness and shedding. It's more flaky shedding. This comes off in sheets, so that's really the difference. Uh, but yes, this is a mild or a medium depth peel, so we will have you know, visual shedding for five to seven days. The first few days, generally speaking, on, on the face, the first few days are just red and tight. Everything kind of tightens up. Then days three, four, five, you have the aggressive shedding. By six and seven, you've got some stragglers hanging around, some dead skin flakes, and then they start to come off. And do you feel warmth? Has it started to heat up a little bit? It is a little yeah. warm. So what I tell people to expect is it's really easy. It's tolerable. It's not, not I don't associate any pain with this. It just feels hot. So. What I explain to people is you'll feel sensitized, you'll feel a little tingly, a little warm, kind of feels like a sunburn. So it feels like maybe you're at the beach all day, but not painful at all. And like I said, she's gonna do four hours, wash everything off, she's gonna do her skincare, and in seven days we'll be able to treat her with a Fraxel. So we'll make sure you guys are updated with that because I have a feeling she's gonna have great results to lighten the skin, improve the scars and the texture. Thank you guys.